Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be memory planning and this is for the week of May 11th through May 17th. Um, and for this week I have a very unique kit in the sense that I usually don't use kits that are this small. Um, this is a kit from Sweet Bella XOXO and it only comes with these two pages. So on the first page here we've got all the full boxes and a bow checklist at the bottom and then the second page has the bottom washi. It's got a set of to-do headers, some bow check flags, um, these arrow stickers here. We have a habit tracker, a three circle checklist, um, some flags, three half boxes, and three quarter boxes. So definitely the things that I'm missing the most in terms of what I usually use in a kit are the half boxes and the full boxes. So I decided to pull from my leftovers collection. I'm not sure if I've ever showed these on camera, but this is how I store all my leftover boxes. Um, usually I do like to keep the half boxes and quarter boxes because I tend to use them a lot in my planning. And so I just prefer holding onto them um, in case I need them for future spreads. So I organize them based on color and this one is my purple sheet. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a wide variety of purples here and I'm seeing only a few that might match Match this kit so this lighter one here and this one here um, I also have another page attached to the back um, I don't think any of these are going to work with the kit because they just seem a little too dark but anyways I also pulled a few different sheets so this one is like the light grays and marbled um, sheet that might work well Again, it's double-sided, so I have quite a few that I might be able to work with. And then we've got the pink colored sheet. So we've got this one here, and then I think this one is double-sided like so. And then the last thing I pulled in is this um, quarter box sheet from Regina Laughs. I thought maybe a couple of these lighter pink colors might work with the spread. So I'm just going to um, hold on to that and just see if it might work when I'm planning. Um, the only other thing I'm pulling in that's not from this kit is the Simply Gilded Bow Washi. This one is in a light purple with um, the silver foil, which I thought matched really nicely with this kit um, and will go well with the bottom washi as well. Cause I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit thinner. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for today. We'll see how this goes because again, I don't typically use such small kits, but this is all she had. So um, we're just going to roll with it. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and I will place down my bottom washi first as I usually do. The bottom washi always takes me a while to put down if I'm using Simply Gilded Washi because it is kind of transparent and so I do have to white out some of those lines on my planner just to make sure they don't show through the washi. And so I go ahead and do that by placing the Simply Gilded Washi on the top and then I used the washi that came in the kit on the bottom and I go ahead and do that for both sides. I'm just skipping through this part really, really quickly because like I said, it does take me quite some time to do all of the whiting out. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move to my sidebar. So I first whited out the hexagon at the very top because it didn't match this week's kit. And then I go ahead and place down the full box that says be confident. Um, above that, I used a little bow flag from the kit and a May script sticker. That's from Artbox Stickers and I really like her script font. Um, once I'm done with that, I continue my sidebar. So I cut up another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi and use that to divide the full box from the rest of the sidebar. I pulled in the habit tracker to track my working out and then for my happy moments I used a strip of washi which was in my leftover stash and I cut up two bow checklists that came in the kit to make a total of seven bows and I realized this was a really great way to have enough bows for each day of the week so I think I'm going to try doing this in the future. Um, then for my dinners initially I had this little dinners header that I found um, but I didn't think it matched the kit really well so I do pull it up. Um, I placed down the bow checklist that came with the kit and then this is where I replaced that box for another one instead. Both the foiled utensil sticker and the heart are from Hazel Sticker, and that is it for my sidebar. Now I move on to Monday, and the first thing I do is place down a to-do header that came with the kit, and then I used a flag with this quarantine script sticker in my writing, that's from Planner Just For You, and I use that to mark that we are on week nine of quarantine. It's been really crazy to think of how much time has passed. It feels like it went by really slowly, but also like super fast, so I don't know, I've just been feeling really weird about it lately. Um, then underneath that, I pulled in a silver foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I'm made some Dalgona coffee that morning. I then decided to mark my lunch because I didn't have a whole lot going on on Monday. That utensil sticker is from a shop called Lemon Paper Co. 
I then placed down a full box underneath that and then I used some boxes at the end of the day just so I can space things out. On the quarter box, I put down a dumbbell sticker from Hazel Sticker and then used a workout time script sticker in my writing. That's from Planner Just For You. And then underneath that, I used this Happy Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I finished a puzzle that day. It's always super satisfying to put in that very last piece. And then on the half box, I pulled in this really cute um, cooking mochi sticker. That's from mochi kichi and I marked that I tried out a new recipe that night. I made some drunken noodles or pad kimao which is one of my favorite Thai dishes and it turned out super good so I was really proud of myself. On Tuesday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, then I moved to the top and placed down a quarter box and a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a morning meeting that I had. I then lifted it up because I wanted there to be a header on top of that, so I actually cut up a washi strip from the kit to create a header, and that silver foiled Today sticker is from Chic Blossom Prints. Continuing with the day, I used a Little Things. This is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I used that to mark my lunch. And then I started from the bottom again on this day because I wanted to make sure I had enough space to mark the things that I wanted or I just had to see you know, what I had space to mark. And so um, on the quarter box, I used a bow sticker that is from Planning Like a Pro. And I marked that I did 50 burpees, which is something I've been trying to do on days where I don't feel like working out. I've been trying to do 50 burpees instead um, just so I have done something even though it doesn't take as much time as a full workout. Um, then the silver foiled utensil sticker again that's from Hazel Sticker and then on that flag I use this really cute makeup sticker from Chasing Chels to mark that I got ready for a Zoom costume party with my friends that we do every week. Um, this week the theme was Disney slash cartoons and so I pulled in this really cute Disney balloon sticker that's from Paper and Milk and for this week's costume I decided to dress up as Violet from the Incredibles um, because I have really really long dark hair right now I haven't been able to get a haircut and so I just felt like I could pull that off and then at the very bottom of the box I used a silver foiled bow sticker from Hazel sticker on Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, then used a quarter box with this little laptop sticker from Sweet Kawaii Designs to mark that I had a work meeting that morning. That virtual meeting script sticker is from Planner Just For You. And then I had an IEP meeting afterwards, so I used the silver foiled IEP flag and that's from Jador Planning. Later that evening, I did a video chat with some of my old coworkers and I didn't want to write the name of um, where we worked on there and so I just left that blank. The laptop sticker is from Sticker Blush and the video chat sticker is also from Planner Just For You and that is in my writing. And then at this point, I decided to bold my writing on Tuesday night where I had written Zoom Party. I think I just felt like that area needed some bolding because I was using my lettering stickers which are a bit more bold. And so I just go ahead and darken the downstrokes which is how I create that faux hand lettering. Um, but yeah, anyways, then continuing with Wednesday, I put down a to-do header and an arrow sticker from the kit. That silver foiled record sticker is from Randy.Plans. And then at the very bottom, I put down a foiled heart sticker to mark that I caught up with my old piano teacher that night. On Thursday, I first placed down a to-do header at the top, then I pulled in this quarter box from my leftover stash and used this little dumbbell sticker from a shop that's no longer open to mark that on Thursday, I woke up extra early and did a morning workout instead of an afternoon workout that day. I was trying to play around with my workout routine just to see if I could find something that worked better for me, but oh my goodness, the morning is really hard because I'm just not a morning person. But anyways, that Happy Meal sticker I pulled in, I think is from Very Jenny Co. And then I used another little thing from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark my lunch. I had a couple meetings that afternoon and the first one I marked using this bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. And the second one was an IEP so I pulled in another flag from Jador Planning. I then stopped by the grocery store to pick up some things. Um, the quarter box is from Regina Laughs. I had showed that sheet at the very beginning of the video. And then the silver foiled um, shopping bag sticker is from Hazel Sticker. On that half box, I put down this Cozy Girl from Paper Bear Co. to mark that I did a Gilmore Girls binge, which was just super lovely. And I'm on season five and it's just gotten so good. Um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying it. Um, at this point, I realized that I forgot to place down a full box in the middle of the day, which is where I wanted it for Thursday. So I go ahead and lift everything up so that I can make room for the full box. And I purposely chose this one that had a lot of empty space inside so I could still use that box to mark my meetings. 
I didn't have enough space at the very bottom to mark something I wanted, and so I ended up trimming off a little bit of the full box and moving all of the other boxes up just a couple millimeters, um, which was enough room at the end. Um, I put down this little silver foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I got to FaceTime my mom and my grandma that night. On Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then moving to the top, I first placed down a half box and this coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had my Friday coffee. I'm kind of back on my work schedule of having coffee every Monday and Friday. And then that afternoon, I actually had two IEP meetings back to back. Um, I didn't want to mark both of them the exact same way. So for my first meeting, I pulled in this flag sticker and that's from Artbox Stickers. And then the second meeting I marked using another flag from Jador Planning, which I had been using on the other days of the spread. Then underneath that, I placed down a quarter box and used another dumbbell sticker from Hazel Sticker, as well as a workout time sticker from Planner Just For You to mark that I did a workout that afternoon. And then I found this circle icon in my collection and I used that circle to mark that we got takeout from in and out that night. And it was so amazing. Like it was everything I dreamed of and more. I haven't had in and out in forever, so it just tasted like heaven. And that fry sticker is from Paper and Milk. Moving to the weekend, I first placed down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi and I just laid that right across Saturday and Sunday to create kind of a little banner. And then on top of that, I used the Silver Foiled Weekend Script Sticker. I'm pretty sure that is from You Are You Co. I didn't use it for the week that I used her kit and so I still had that left over, which was perfect to use for this week. On Saturday, I first placed down a full box and at the very top, I used a bow sticker from Hazel Sticker and also this really cute sleeping cat sticker from uh, what used to be Toffee Banana. She's Paper Shire now. It always takes me a second to remember her new shop name. And then in the middle of the box, I just used my Pilot Brush lettering pen to write that I had a really lazy day on Saturday. Underneath that, I used a to-do header with a three bow checklist from the kit to mark some things that I had done that day. Um, I did take a nap. Like I said, it was a super Super lazy day so that sleeping mask sticker is from planning like a pro underneath the checklist I pulled in a half box I think that one was actually from the kit and this boba sticker is from paper bear co and the boba date script sticker is from randy dot plans um, a friend and I decided to try out a social distance boba date and it actually worked pretty well we definitely maintained our distance the entire time um, it was just really really good to see her and have some sort of human interaction that isn't my boyfriend um, but anyways then we made some tacos that night so initially I pulled in this taco sticker from plans with the um, but I realized that the color didn't match the kit very well so I did switch that out later on um, and then at the very bottom I used a quarter box with this film clapper sticker from Mandy Dreams to mark that I filmed a plan with me that night on Sunday, I first used a flag sticker from the kit and this coffee from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had another Dalgona coffee that morning. Um, and then I made some breakfast potatoes and bacon. So I used this adorable cooking mochi from Mochi Kichi again to mark that. And then I placed down a full box underneath that. Sunday was pretty uneventful because I just did a lot of cleaning and grabbed some groceries and then just had leftover tacos for dinner. So I decided to put all those things on the bow checklist and that shopping bag sticker again is from Hazel Sticker. At the very bottom, I layered a quarter box with this little arrow from the kit to mark that I worked on my puzzle that night. I did a puzzle exchange with one of my best friends. So we shipped each other a puzzle that we had. So I got one from her that was 2000 pieces, which is definitely the largest puzzle I've ever done. And so um, I'm still working on it to this day. It's definitely taking a while, but it's been really fun um, putting that together. And this is where I switched out the taco sticker on Saturday with this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. instead. That concludes my week, so I go ahead and move back to the sidebar. I track all of my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners, and I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this two-page kit. I definitely don't have very much left over, which is awesome, and I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I got to pull into this spread. That is it for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was actually really fun working with such a small kit. It definitely pushed me to be more creative and um, just try using what I already have to create the spread. So yeah, I really enjoyed that aspect and would totally try out another small kit like this again. Please let me know what you guys think, and if you have any questions, just leave them down below. I promise I always get back to every single comment. It might take me a while, but I do always respond. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching my videos and 
supporting my channel. Um, I hope you're all doing well wherever you are. And yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.